Hey folks, um, I can't touch the camera. The uh, I'm back here for a second round. Uh, the last round I had the camera reversed so nobody could see anything. And uh, right now that mower is working its way back and forth. It's going to take about an hour and 45 minutes, I think, for him to get to this part where I'm throwing. And uh, maybe two hours. That's a big area over there. And we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to finish this within 45 minutes. I've got 30 discs. We've got a long throw because the camera turned off. We've got a long throw here at around uh, 350 feet, slightly to the right of the lane. And uh, that's about all the action that's really going on here. So uh, enjoy. Uh, I'm setting up the camera and I can't touch it again. But the lawnmower is definitely coming. It's uh, still at least two hours away, probably uh, two and a half to three hours away. It's a big, massive area. He's cutting there first. Okay, um, this is a 149 Pro Boss. This morning it took second place, I believe. And um, it was the first place. Uh, it, it may have taken third place. I forgot. It was uh, that this one in the top three. And the other orange disc, which I signed, it was um, a turn that came in first. And um, this, I think, was second. And then a, a 169 Corvette was third. And um, that was a pretty nice set I threw there. They were very deep. The closest being uh, nine feet, possibly eight and a half off of the embankment. Right down the lane. It wasn't to the right at all. It's right straight down the lane. Here we go. Uh, Welcome, folks, and we are off. Um, this is a boss, pro boss, 149. Here we go. Went on embankment yesterday. Oh, it's a good throw. They won't make it to the embankment, but it's going to be probably the first place kick. And it's, it's uh, probably 361, 362. It's probably bettering my other throw over there in the same area by about 10 feet, 11 feet, 12 feet. Uh, here we go. Weapon of maximum distance. Uh, let's see what we can do here with this. Where'd that mower go? Where did the lawn mower go? He was just over there, that big giant skag. Did they decide not to cut it now? I don't know. Whatever. I hope they do cut it. It'll be nice. Okay, here we go, folks. Weapon of maximum distance, 188 grams. Let's get it. Here we go. That's a very good throw. About the best I could throw it. Skittling and skipping, and it is very close to the lead. So um, it's in the money. It's probably second place, but it could be first place. It's not excessively deep, but it's deep enough. It's about 345 feet, 350 feet. So deep enough to be a threat. Here's the one that won last time, uh, this morning. Um, I reversed the camera, and I have no footage of it. I still don't see that lawnmower. Maybe he's going all the way down all the way down that street over there and then going to come back. I don't know. I imagine it's going to be cutting here, though. They told me it was going to be today. All right, we got a turn here. 149 or 148, one of the two. Wind's blowing out slightly to the left. Here we go. Will we see an embankment today? Here we go. Uh, a little too high, but a good throw. Up there at around 335 feet, a good throw. Uh, not spectacular, but good. And uh, the wind uh, kind of beat it down a little bit. Um, I still don't see that lawnmower. I hope he's cutting this. I really do. But I don't see him anymore. All right, here we go. Uh, 147, this is a Mamba. It is a Halo Star uh, tie-dye or whatever they call it. It's a beautiful disc. Let's see if we can get it done. Uh, Mamba 147. Oh, that's a pretty 
but damn good throw. The wind is helping him too. He's gonna go deep. Coming back, and it is out there and very, very close to first place. Very, very close to first place. Very close. Uh, we've got about three or four discs there that are just, uh, sorry folks. Um, it's whenever I fuck with this camera, it turns off. So, all right, we got about three discs that are just too close to call. They're pretty deep, uh, but not extremely deep. Okay, we got a 168. This is a Mystere. It's in this funny uh, star halo plastic, beautiful looking, a little dirty, I admit. Uh, here we go. Mystere, which by the way is an 11.6. It's got a very high glide. I had a pretty good throw with it on the last round. I got it around 325 feet, if not 330. It's a really pretty good throw, slightly to the left. Here we go. Mystere. 168 grams. Here we go. Oh, that's a pretty good throw. Holy shit. That's a big go for first. It's skittling and skipping and very close again. I don't think it made it. I don't think it made it, but it's going to be close bringing up the rear of those three throws. Okay, uh, we got a charger. This has already seen the promised land. And, uh, hang on a second, my wife is buzzing me, which means that my son doesn't want to talk to me. Uh, let me see, she's asking me something about a perfume. My wife has sold some perfumes. Very good. I will respond to her and tell her she's doing a great job. Good job. Hang on. Very good. My son doesn't want to have anything to do with me. Uh, I'll call him and see if he will join us in this uh, pursuit of trying to get onto the embankment. But I know he's not going to answer. He never does. I have to trick him into telling him that I'll give him $20 if I get it on the embankment. No, he's not answering. So we'll just carry on here. Uh, sorry about that delay. Um, okay, uh, this is already seen the embankment. It is a charger crossed between a Wraith and a Destroyer, according to Innova. I like it. I, I don't know why I throw it better than the 148, its little brother, in blue. But I've never gotten the blue one on the embankment. And it struggled to get into the top three places. It's only done it a, a couple of times. But uh, this 162 usually has a, a significant flight every time. It has already made it. There's a video of it from, it went 414 feet. Um, it was on 123.24 this year, January 23rd. And the name of the video is called 20 MPH Winds Part 2, PT2. If you want to take a look at it. There it is. We're going to get it right now. Here we go. 162. Charge. That's another good throw. It's not going to go super deep, but it's deep enough. And it's skittling, and the wind is helping it. And it, again, it's right there in that group of discs that are, um, they're all right next to each other. So these are all 340-foot throws, uh, possibly as deep as 350-foot throws. Here we go. Is that the mower? Oh, I see our friend on the mower. He's back. He was cutting in front of the fire department. I still think he's going to cut this here. I see him now. He's coming back. I said, it's still going to be three hours before he gets here. There's a lot to cut. Here we go. This is a 159 Ape. And uh, it's got to go so deep to the right because I don't like the flight of the Ape. And I can't recommend it anymore. I used to like it, but it's not my friend anymore. The ape is too difficult to keep to the right. It wants to go to the left too much. The flight numbers indicate it. The third number is a one, I think. And that means it's uh, overstable. Um, uh, uh, overstable and it wants to go to the left. 
So no thanks. I got enough going to the left as it is. Here we go. I still don't see that guy cutting the yard. Oh, there he is. He took a break, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. 159.8. Yeah, that's a pretty good throw, but again, it's going to the left. And it'll skittle and uh, harmlessly landed around 290. And you can clearly see that ape. That's why I'm not going to recommend it to you. Uh, you know, as a friend, I'm not going to recommend the ape because it, it, it wants to go to the left. So if that's what you want, buy the ape. But for an old man, uh, you, you just, you can't, you can't lasso it in. You can't keep it to the right. It always goes to the left. So no more ape. I will not buy any more. Uh, the Katana is a minus three understable disc. And it shows it. You get much more distance with limited power. Sidewinder. Let's get it. 148. We got about 23 more discs. Here we go. Uh, if it stays up, it's going to be deep. Holy shit. But the wind fucked with it. Damn. The wind bashed it down. If it didn't, if the wind didn't bash it down, that was going to make the embankment. That's a bummer. If the wind would have just cushioned it up just slightly, it would have made it. And if it was, uh, if it, if the wind brought it up like 15 feet, that thing might have been uh, halfway up or better on the embankment. That's very sad, as far as I can tell. Sorry, folks. Uh, I have to get my disc cleaned off here, lest it hinder its flight. Okay, we got a. Um, it's all cut up anyway. This is the 156. This was new a couple days ago. Now it's all shitted up. It's all nasty. Oh well, I haven't thrown this disc well, not even one time. Uh, probably, it won't go in the garbage because if I ever play disc golf, uh, this one just wants to go to the left. So there's a couple places I could use it where there's water. And if I lose this one, I'm certainly not gonna cry about it. It's just a DX156 Katana and it sucks. Here we go. Oh, now that, okay, now it turns over. Now that's rolling. I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to look and see. It had angle. Now, I don't see it on the embankment, but it had a kind of a good angle of roll. We're going to have to see what that one did. Uh, but clearly, you can see that that disc, even with hyzer, it's flipping over, which means it's a fucked up disc. And I've been doing it too much. I know what I'm doing now. And that disc is uh, not good. So, again, I'll take it with me. It'll be one of the ones I throw over water. And uh, that's that. This is a 148 Valkyrie. I tell the story every time. Went up to my tits in a fucking swamp over at Heritage Park. And I mean a swamp. And uh, I was lucky I uh, escaped alive, I guess. And fortunately, they had one of those spigots that was around three feet high. And man, I went underneath there and I washed myself off. I was lucky that was there because that was nasty and foul. Okay, 148 Valkyrie. I believe it's a 9.5. Here we go. 9.5. Okay, that's that one. The wind is fucking with it. The wind fucked it up. No matter, it's still going very deep. I mean, it's within. Uh, reach of the first place. I don't know if it's first place or not, but the wind bashed it. Uh, the wind took away. It might have made it on the embankment. Might have, but the wind bashed it away. Okay, we got 164. This is a Shrike. Very, very vulnerable to the wind. Get them too high, and uh, they come back. Let's get this. Let's see if I can get this son of a bitch on the fucking embankment. I need to do it, man. I want to strike up on the embankment. We haven't had a strike up on the embankment in a long time. I got a 162 up there. Right out of the box. Here we go. 164. Strike. That's a pretty good throw. Uh, skittling, skipping, and rolling. Uh, 
very close to first place. Uh, these are too close to call. And these are all pretty good throws. We've got less than 20 discs now. All right, we've got a 149. Uh, this must be a turn. I can't see it. I don't know what this disc is. I can't read it. I thought it was a, a turn. Maybe it's a Corvette. Um, I'm looking at it. Very, it's one of these things where it's dug in so good you can't see it. It's a 149. And it is not readable. It must be a turn. It must be a turn. It's not possible to read it. I don't know what it is. I guess it's a turn. Here we go. We got about 16 discs left. Whew. Turn. 149. That's a very good throw. I didn't get it to turn over. Still, it's going to be a good throw. Skittling, rolling, and it's not quite to the front, but it's uh, in the grouping there behind. Uh, it's still a very good potent throw at around 335, 338 feet. Okay, we got another Roadrunner. I'm really trying to get this 149 Roadrunner on the embankment. I really want to get one on. I'd like to get one of every type of the Innova discs on the embankment. We've got a Katana up there. We've got an Ape, I believe, that made it up there. We've got a uh, Corvette up there. We've got the Shrike made it up there. Uh, the Turn has made it up there. The boss has made it up there. So we're only waiting on a couple more discs. And I'm not sure about the ape. I think I did it with a 168 in very high winds moving to the right. And um, it wasn't the only one. That day, boy, the discs were really going. Uh, putting them up high and letting them go to the right. And boy, were they going. I mean, I got some that were halfway up the embankment or more. That was unbelievable that day. Last year or in January or something. That was really a great day. Okay, 149. Sidewinder. Oh, that's, uh, I couldn't get it to go to the right, but it's still going to go deep. And it is out there and just slightly, and I mean two meters behind the leader. So that was a very good throw right there. Uh, it's not going to be in third place, but uh, we got too many discs. But it's going to be there in the top five or six. Uh, we've had some very good blasts out here. 160 Day of Dallas. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's a pretty good throw. It's deep. And it is... Very, very close to first place. Very close. I can't tell which one is which. This is going to be a very good um, walk out there because I've got some deep throws out there. Hang on. Somebody, my wife is texting me or my son. Uh, it's my wife telling me. Uh, they also like the purple Elizabeth Arden. Whatever that is. Okay. All right. Here we go. Whew. Gorgon. The furthest disc I've ever thrown. 470 feet. Almost making it to the gate of the airport by 21 feet less. Unbelievable. It was really far. Whew. Here we go. Gordon, 168, 10 6. Oh, no, it just and scraped up the disc on the road. Just fell apart early, low. Terrible, it scraped up the whole bottom of the disc, I'm sure. 147 day of Dallas. Uh, or is this a Corvette? It is a, hang on a second, I want to know what this is. It is a, what is this, 147 uh, Day of Dallas, very difficult to read, 147 Day of Dallas, let's get it on the embankment.
field, I'd say around three meters out of first place. Okay. Um, uh, 169 Corvette. This is the second place disc this morning when I threw. A very deep throw. Uh, probably around uh, 12 feet off the embankment. 13 feet, 14 feet, not more than that. Probably around uh, 12. Threw it very well. Here we go. 169 Corvette. And again, there's a lot of discs right over there in that area. A lot, like seven or eight of them. And they're all going to be within two to three meters of each other. It brings us to the Starfire. It had a good flight last time going around 315 feet, which is pretty good for Starfire. It's a 10-4. Let's see if I can get this thing really out there. Starfire. Okay, that's uh, too high. It's going to be a good flight, though. And it's down, and it's rolling. And it is out there. It's among the front of the pack, but not in the front. It's running with them. So possible uh, top seven, maybe top five. I don't know. Uh, this is that 142 Roadrunner. It's proved to be very flippy. And I just can't seem to do anything about it. So I'm going to try to hyzer the shit out of this. And uh, I'm going to try to put it up a little bit. I can't throw it low. It just falls out and flips over. So I'll do the best I can with this. I may have to throw it out because it's just not doing anything for me. And it's consistent. It didn't, and clearly you could see it turn over. So that disc is garbage, and uh, either will be put out or I'll throw it over at the disc golf course as a expendable disc when I'm near the water, which you always need. And this is the 137 Roadrunner. Uh, again, much the same. It's going to flip uh, to the right, but let's see if we can't get something going with it. 137. Okay, that's a pretty good throw. The wind is bringing it up. It's going to be way to the left. Uh, and it is way over 300 feet. I'd say 312 feet. That's pretty good for a 137 in these conditions. Not bad. Okay. We got a destroyer here. Well beat in. 148. Here we go. Destroyer. That's a pretty good throw. However, I couldn't get it to turn over. Therefore, it could still belong to around 305 feet. An okay throw, but uh, couldn't uh, get it to the right enough. Couldn't get it to turn over. 148 ape. Uh, I'm getting tired of this ape. If I can't get the promised land with this ape, or at least money, uh, it's going to be one of those expendable discs that I throw near the water on my next outing of disc golf. 148 uh, Out to around 8th uh, or ninth place. It's still a good throw, but I couldn't get it to turn over to the right. So it just kind of faded out with what it could get. 166 turn. It's a very heavy turn. I, I certainly don't like throwing a 166. It's too much for my arm. Let's see if I can put something together with it. Uh, here we go. 166 turn. Pretty good throw. It's going to be deep. Not that deep, but it's chewing. And right in that area, I see it behind another disc. So. Uh, no real threat there, but 
uh, a good throw uh, along the line of a 325 foot throw. So here we go. We have a uh, 148, I believe this is a turn. Let me see what that is. I can see it in letters, but I can't really see. It is a turn. It's possible we could get an embankment with this. Turns love to go far, folks. They love it. Turn. Nope. I kind of had bad footwork there. And that is going to be a very disappointing 255 feet. Very disappointing. I didn't do well with my foot placement there. Uh, 169 Corvette. Uh, identical twin to the other one. It made second place earlier this morning. Very deep throw. Let's try to repeat performance here. 169 Corvette. Uh, it got up, the wind picked it up a bit. And uh, not too great, not too bad. It's around 305 feet. Maybe 308. Not a bad throw. Just not going to win any awards. Okay. 150. This is a boss. Pro boss. Are they going to come cut? Not today. I thought the guy told me he was going to come today. Next week? That mower, I hear it right now. I thought it was coming over here, but I guess it's just for the fire department. Well, I got one more disc and I'm out of here. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I won't do it anymore. And you know what? Thank you. I won't. I, you can see I don't have it. It's enough. Well, that's wonderful. I'm glad. Because once you cut it, it ain't going to grow until April. Yeah, and it's it, Unless it rains, and I don't think it will, this will go until, like, maybe if it doesn't rain, early May. I did it last year. I remember what happened. It would last a long time. Everything is okay? Yeah, it's all right. All right. I'll see you later, man. Thank you. No problem. Uh, one, uh, 150. They told me not to cut the grass anymore, so I won't. Here we go. 150 gram in a Boss, here we go. If it stays up, but if the wind is messing with it, damn. The wind messed with it. If the wind didn't mess with it, it might have had a chance. Felt good leaving my arm in different kind of wind situations. Uh, that might have made the embankment easily. We got one last disc. It's a 157 day of Dallas. I do not throw it well typically. I can't even tell you the last time I threatened the embankment with it. I don't know if I ever have, but it's the last chance because this is it. And here we go. 157, day of Dallas. Here we go. Let's get this one at least close to the embankment. Here we go. Yeah, it's a very good throw. And the wind is kind of bringing it down. It's bouncing up. It has passed. Yeah, it has passed one of the other discs I see there. So it's going to be within the top five, I believe. We don't have anything super duper deep. So, all right, we're at 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, most of them stayed on the platform here. And... Uh, Let's see. Um, let's see how deep. You know, we had a couple rollers, but they didn't look too promising. But you never know, you know. You never know with those rollers. Uh, because I can't see in here. There's like a hill here. And I can't exactly see where they go. But uh, let's have a look. It looks like the blue one might be Champ there. Or the green one. Looks like it's going to be the green one. No, there's a yellow one in front of that. So... Uh, I don't know what that is. It could be the Green Bay Packers one or it could be the 160 
day of Dallas. I think they're both day of Dallas's though. So it looks like we're going to have a first place finish uh, with a day of Dallas. All right, let's see what we got going on. We will ignore these and keep this to a 31 minute video. We're just going to get the top three and you can see most of these stayed right here in the uh, in this cut area. You can see that. So, uh, I told you, remember I told you there were a whole bunch that went over here? Was I lying? Holy shit. Look at that. Holy cow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all within about three meters. I told you about that. I knew that. Nothing went out deep to the left. I don't do that. You got about four flanking discs here to the rear. And the purple one looks like it's going to be second place. Whatever that is. It's not the Innova uh, Gorgon. It's the 164 Shrike. That might have a second place finish here. Uh, the green one, I think, I don't know. And this uh, Innova Mamba is very close also. Uh, this one is the, I know it's a, I know it's a Day of Dallas. Let's have a look at it and see what it is. It is definitely a Day of Dallas. Uh, yes, it's a day of Dallas and now I got to go over here and see if there's anything uh, That uh, went further than this, but I don't think so the wind is coming this way from the north, so it's um, it, It's just not uh, It's not going to help these discs going out to the right which I normally do Because the wind normally comes from the east which is over there so now it's coming from the north and with a little bit of a easterly component to it all right so this uh, sidewinder is about the deepest here uh, this must have been the one that rolled one of them rolled or two of them rolled but nothing uh, nothing remarkable and we're gonna have an official here an official uh, placement here uh, official order first place is gonna go to a 160 I want to see if it's the Green Bay Packer one or if it's the, just the regular one. It is going to be the um, the regular one, 160. Day of Dallas. It has made it to the one, two, third. It's made it almost to the fourth post, which is a pretty potent throw. It's certainly every bit of 355 feet, possibly more. It's going to be... Uh, uh, followed by the second place finisher, which is this 164 Shrike. And uh, this one is a Shrike, I'm quite sure of it. I think that's the only one we have here. It is a 164 Shrike. Which one took it? I think the green one took it just out of the reach of just bettering this Innova. Yep, it just beat it. It just beat it. So, first place, 160 Day of Dallas. Second place, 164 Shrike. Third place is going to be that green one, which is a... Let me see what that one is. That would be tits if it was that uh, 148. And it is. So, the Valkyrie, with its first appearance in the money at third place, and uh, fourth place went to the Innova Mamba. And the fifth place went to uh, the, um, uh, is that the Pro Boss? Uh, yeah, it's a Pro Boss. Uh, Pro Boss. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's a turn. 147 turn. So 147 turn, fifth place. Uh, once again, 160 Day of Dallas. Second place, 164 Shrike. Third place goes to the 148 Valkyrie in um, Gummy Plastic Pro. Fourth place, the Innova Mamba, just inches behind. And fifth place is the 149 Turn. And all of these discs right here, nothing to be ashamed of here. And for whatever the reason, I, I and I knew it. That's why I told you, it all seems like they're going in the same place. Was I lying or what? Holy cow. That's the most dense group of discs I have ever thrown. And it is led by the 
weapon of maximum distance. So that made it the furthest. Let me see where, let's see if it made the fence and it did. It made the fence and it made somewhere between, it's around right around at the first slat, which means it's a very potent 320 foot throw, at least. At least 318 to 320 feet. Anyways, folks, take care. Thank you for being with me. I'm kind of tuckered out and uh, from a very nicely thrown group, handsome group of throws, handsome group of discs, I will see you for the news.